Hi, everyone, and thank you for calling into Carrie Sankey Cafe. I am Carrie Ann Hartley Sikowski. You're here, we're live, we're in Salem, Massachusetts. I want to just uh, say a little bit uh, about the show here. If the first timers that are watching and viewing us, uh, our number here is 323-792-3050. A little bit about the show. Obviously, I'm the host of Carrie Ann Hartley Sikowski. And we've been here for almost over a year now. This is a live call in chat, call in and chat room show. Um, you could call in, or you can chat in our awesome chat room, or you can just sit back and watch. We don't want you to do that, okay? We want you to call in. We want you to have a good time. We want you to ask. The rules are one question, one question per person. You could call in, or you could chat. And we have a chat. Um, in the chat has a chat cafe um, staff, and it, tonight it's Susanna and Aunt Joan, and they will be calling in all the wonderful questions that you have to ask. On here, if there's um, people that really don't know anything about the show and uh, have basically um, have not, you know, had the opportunity to be on the show and know about the show um, in the room, there's so many people there that can help you out and show you how to do it. Again, we're live and uh, we're doing our best here in uh, Salem, Massachusetts. It's great in Salem. I've met a lot of great people. I met a lot of magical people. This town. Internet problem, guys. Hold on. Kerry will be right back. It looks like it's going to be one of them nights. Should we just do a rerun? When is the last time you rebooted the computer? Let's... Nope. No good. There's... I'm probably going to have to do what is called an extended um, next week and do like an extra package they have on here. Um, there's no way we could we can do the show. There's no way. There's no. I mean, there's no freedom to do it. It keeps on coming up with this connection between the slow and good video thing. Um, and there's this extra, if there's this extra thing I could buy, but it takes it takes 24 hours to do. Yeah. No. Um, it's... Next week we're gonna we're gonna. There's no way the show is gonna go on. I'm gonna tell you right now, Amnon. Right now everything is okay. What happened? When I ask you, when is the last time you rebooted the computer? When I when I turned it back on and turned on to call did, you. Did you did you turn it off before that, or you put to sleep? No, I turned it off. Okay. Because that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, yeah. All right, let's let's keep going now. Let's see. I mean, um, if if worse comes to worse, what right. we can do is. Uh, Just do phone? Aud audio, no. I mean, if you kill your video right now. Yeah, let's just do audio. Go ahead and, and click on, you see below there is an icon with a camera on the left. Yeah. Click yeah. it so there is a red line across it. I'm going to click it. And could you let everybody know there'll be no video? It's just audio tonight? Yeah, you can tell them. No, it's fine. Go, yeah, they're hearing everything that we're talking about now. Oh, I'm so sorry, everybody. <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, so we're going to try to do the show however we can. Um, and basically right now, I think, because everybody's just checked into the hotel that I'm at, and um, there was 27 people, and I think uh, I asked, um, they sent me an email, 127 people just came into the hotel and everybody's on the internet and it's I have to pay for something extra next week we're just going to do audio uh, um, so it'll be no video tonight I'm so sorry you don't have to see this face which you're probably lucky out there everybody it's 323-792-3050 uh, and uh, I have a, I have the staff that will call in the questions that are in the chat room and we're going to try to do it and keep on going right Amnon? Right <laughs> we're doing the best we can so. uh, we, we'll, we'll make it through don't worry 
We will, because we do whatever we can for everybody that's the first time. You know, because I have some people that are actually um, from, I just want to say the shout out to uh, Connie from Air Psychic Radio today. I'm due, due to the to the internet issue. I'm so sorry about it. She was trying to actually look and see how the show is ran tonight, and sorry about that. Um, so give us a call, 323-792-3050. Get your question answered. Our staff, if we got some questions to answer for everybody, let's try to do this, um, and let's try to make it as best as possible and uh, about the situation at hand. Again, I have to say about my show, if you want to do the show special, um, it, we're doing 15 for 35. You can go to www.carriepsychiccafe.com. Normally, you could click above my head, and uh, the show special is uh, Halloween, and you could do that. Um, I'm just letting you know, uh, anybody that sees us in Salem, Massachusetts, on this Wednesday with Andrea Perrin, it's not a debut or anything. She's our friend. Um, Tom's coming up, and we're going to be hanging out with her all day, and she's going to be recording it and doing everything she has to do in Salem as far as um, you know, hanging out, going on a trolley, and doing everything. Again, it's not a publicity thing. She's coming in. She's hanging out. We're just going to hang out with her be like that and uh, just chill out with her. Aunt Joan and Susanna's in the staff. Nick, thank you so much for doing the phones tonight. Um, and uh, so let's get rocking. All right, so first let's go and talk. Boy, the, the phones are just, oh, it's the same person. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but here we go. Let's uh, go ahead and talk with Alan. Hey, Alan, it's Carrie. How are you? You're live. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, uh, I have uh, one question. Uh, sure. I would like to know if the career choices I've made this year and in the recent past have helped me uh, help help. I'm sorry. Have helped place me on a better path for health and finances, or if more changes are needed to move ahead. Well, basically, what you've done before and what you're doing now is kind of like a little different. Good thing you, my guardian, say it's a little bit of a different path right now. Um, you asked. It's one question show. So about the health issue. Um, all they see, the Guardians, uh, as far as your career is concerned, what you've done and what you've changed up and what you're going forward to it is a great thing that you're doing. Um, health, basically, what we've got to look out for and what is genetic. And Aaron, I have a here. I couldn't really say in the beginning of the show I have four guardians. Obviously, one's a doctor. Aaron said that the health is not health is, is a pressure of the is, of your career choice. So it's like stress, it's anxiety, it's all that kind of stuff. And if you were to ever, it, you're like pretty much of a really good thing right now going on. So I would continue what you're doing and, and do what you do forward. And thank you so much for calling. And the next question, Amnon, you're uh, so back. Talk. Up. Go ahead and talk with uh, Mary Lou. Hey, Mayor. Hi, Carrie. How are you? I'm awesome. Sorry about the um, video thing. What's up? <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> um, I wanted I'm to know to when will I meet gun. my husband and what's his name? I, I That's going in and out. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I can't. When will I meet my husband and what's his name? Hey, Mary Lou. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You're so funny. There's so many other things that are going on in your life, too. You'll meet your husband the dirt my grandmother said you're going to meet your husband in like two months and Aaron so I that's all I get from them right now for you so I don't I don't know oh, if that's, that's going to help you yep a but it's different it's a a a r o n so and it's not even within a time you're like so close to meeting this person you have no clue just take down the wall let it happen you're ready you're ready for love I certainly I don't you. <laughs> thank you so much thank you Thanks, Aaron. All right, how about... It's not uh, like my Aaron, everybody, huh? Talk with uh, Corrine. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, with um, everything, the limitations that I've had um, in taking care of uh, my grandmother for the last eight years, um, she just turned 100. Um, But at the same time, I've been working so hard at trying to... um, further my career with different ventures and it just seems like every time I turn around it's um it, it I'm wondering if everything that I've worked so hard at will come through finally well congratulations on a hundred year old I mean that's just amazing nobody lives that long and obviously you're doing it thank you the guardians say you're doing an amazing job of taking care of everybody but it's time for you it's time for you to put yeah. your perspective and everything to you. Um, are you still her, still her caretaker, or is she in assisted living? Never will be in assisted living. Always with me. 
That's what they said. Thank you. Thank you. Just wanted to guarantee that. Thank you so much. Um, as far as, and, and she's got a little ways to go yet, my love. You do know that, right? I don't think she's going anywhere for at least nope. three to four years. You got it. <laughs> exactly what they say yeah. yeah absolutely yeah oh yeah oh yeah yeah i mean let's just let's just let you know everybody just looks no you're probably going to listen to this and three years later we're going to be hearing the whole conversation but however uh the caretaker that i'm talking to this beautiful woman will finally have her goals and dreams taken care of due to the fact that karma comes around and 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 is so viciously needs to come back at you absolutely 100 percent what you're talking about you need to go forward and go move forward with what you want everything is always put in front of you for a reason you're just a caretaker you're just not a caretaker you're an amazing woman and you need to go forward what you want your dreams and everything but she'll be just fine everything will work out thank you because i'm yeah. everything i do is now, in like turn to I get it. Um, be able to maintain to said, keep like, taking blocked. care of her yeah. i know well because you know she's a significant part of your life that's what happens yeah. when you're a kid, you know, and, and, and everything that she lives and breathes is because of you. So we just want to make sure that you're not putting her anywhere because she don't need to go anywhere. She's still fully conscious. This woman is, like, amazing. This should be videotaped. Oh, yeah, she's unbelievable. She is the most amazing and, and my, woman I have my, ever my doctor, known. My guardian is, like, are you serious? Like, he's, like, amazed by her. She's completely, completely, like, all her, everything is all intact. Everything is just fully functional. It's just amazing. Yeah. So you should be documenting this. This would be actually something that you could document. I'm just I'm I, honored. Well, I'm honored. I, that I, you know what? When I, 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 I quit my career to take care of her when she uh, got sick, uh, she had a stroke. And that is yes. when the doctor yes. said she's not going to make it. I said, I'm taking her home with me. And eight years later, she's just turned 100. And, but in that time, I decided I want to write. And I wrote right. a book called uh -huh. That Moment. Right. And been on, it's one of the highest rated ebooks, but people just read the the um, free part of it. They don't buy the book online. So, it's, so let, um, me let, by let me do a plug for you real quick. Um, if you can just write, what is your um, email address and the name of your book? So if any, I have a lot of, I have thousands of people who watch and listen to my show. If anybody is interested yeah. in something that she has to offer, which is probably going to be a number one seller, uh, you, should, you need to uh, just, just say your email and your book and how they get in touch with you, please. I, I definitely will. I'll put it on your on the wall um, that okay. I saw uh, your say, face say for. it loud so everybody can hear because we're not on video today. We're just we're just going through the radio and on on the chat in the chat room. So people in the chat room can't hear it. So can you please just say it? Yes, um, it's uh, that moment mm -hmm. by and CC and Champagne, you? and it's at Smashwords.com. All right. Thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. God bless. Uh, um, God, over 100 years old. Um, Carrie. Yeah. I know you don't have video, but that doesn't mean that you have to eat the microphone. I'm not eating the microphone. It's so far away from me. It's the it's the room. I'm trying. I can not to eat I can microphone. hear I can hear the the wind from your. Oh, it's it's. I'll even move it farther away. All right. All right. All right. Go ahead and talk with <laughs> Dennis or Den Dennis Denise. Denise. Hi, Dennis. Hi, Dennis. Uh, Dennis. How are you? Dennis. Uh, I know, Dennis. I've been better. I know. What's up? My uh, my wife's spirit guide is Gray Wolf, uh, and uh, she's one of the most uh, the best uh, psychic mediums in the world. Right. And, and uh, so my question is, uh, say what? Go ahead. I'm listening. My question is, why is uh, she keeping my children from me? Well, my guardian said it. It's a, it's a custodial thing. It's a something she feels that you're not going to be contributing to the children's well-being. That there's no reason why this should be happening. That this needs to be a legal-bound thing. Is there attorneys involved? If she's the greatest yeah, psychic sure. and everything like that, if there's the greatest psychic in the world, then somebody would know if somebody's a good father or not and have the ability, like you said, if she does, then you should be able to know, she should be able to know that there's nothing wrong with what you are, what you're about. 
And um, I don't know, you know, live that we are and, and thousands of people that hear us right now, I'm just letting you know that I don't feel there's anything wrong with your fathering or your ability to father. And I, don't, I just don't get why this is happening. It's a legal issue. And uh, there's no reason why this should be going on. But if there's something else that she knows other than I, I do, then we're not, you know, we're, that's just how far we're going to go with it. But it, legally speaking, you know, you're, you're, there's no reason why your children should be kept from you. We don't see any reason why. I understand I know. No, so, I know. You know. So, as so why? As what? As I am, what there's, there's nothing more I can tell a, you. Because I know there's nothing wrong with you. What creates such a golf? Well, it, it's a legal issue. When it's legally involved, then there's something more to it than than what we know of. But as far as what I'm saying, as far as well, being no, 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 off, that's 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 just a legal issue that that she created uh, with false uh, uh, accusations and such. And and so I want to know what. Why would someone that that is so connected? Am I next question, please? Uh oh. Why do we go off? Okay. I don't know. Next question, please. Go ahead, talk with Liz. Hey, Liz. Hi, Carrie. Hi. How are you? I'm awesome. How you doing? I'm pretty good. Um, I just wanted to know if there's any spirits around me. If you see spirits around me. Oh, Aaron, thank you. Is that my, oh, my grandmother said that you walk among two spirits, one from a past life. Oh, okay. Aaron said the past life, uh, mm -hmm. more of an artist, photographer, right, type of deal. And the spirit that walks among you is a great grandmother, and she's totally your guide. She totally takes you out of things that you've never, like, when you're going to do something that you hesitate to do, that's your, that's your guardian pulling you out of it. So thank you. And my father said mm -hmm. that there's also, a, like, a compelling, compelling, compelling feeling in order to change something that you're doing sometimes you're not settled sometimes you need something different done that's that's your that's your guide that's like showing and directing you but absolutely you have two absolutely uh, so you're Thank saying you. my great-grandmother do you know if it's on my mother's side or father it's the mother I'm sorry I said it but the microphone what, what's going on with even my microphone tonight I'm trying everybody I'm really trying yes I said mother yes you could Okay, so great grandmother, and who who's the other guy from my past life? Yeah, like I mean, artist, photographer. I mean, there's so much going on, like so much oh. travel that needs to be done yet. Like that's why your unsettled soul is in there. You need so much oh. more to do with okay. your life. There's so much left. There's so much inside of you, and that's why sometimes you feel antsy or you feel like there needs to be change. Yeah, and that's yeah, that's right. what happens because you're living the past life in there, and that's what needs to be done. But, you know, so but thank okay. you so much, my love, for calling in. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right. And where's my chat staff? Where's the chat questions? I want some chat I questions think, first. I think um, there is Tom right here. Is Susie Annie on there or Aunt Joan or, Con I don't or Tom? Know. I see one that there's no name. No, I want Susie Annie or, or one in the chat right now. All right. Tom, is that you? It's Tom. Tom is here. Hey, right. hey, what's up? Sorry about that. There's just hey, I have to hey, I have to do this something with the computer next week. I have to buy that extra package. Yeah, but, but okay, you're you're sound fine now. Away from the mic, you're just fine. So, so go relax, ahead, Tom. Okay? Yeah, go ahead, Tom. Tom, any questions? All right, all right. I got three questions, and then of course I gotta I gotta bend down. I gotta bow down to Susiani with the Dolph uh, Dolph. Right, whatever, go. Today, so. All right. Uh, uh, Joe has a question from the chat. I have been having problems with my wrist, and I've seen a lot of doctors, none of whom have been much help. Uh, who should well, I Aaron's, see to get my Aaron's wrist said, Aaron, said it's, Aaron said it's carpal tunnel syndrome, but not just from the, the one, the wrist bending one. It was a, it was, he was born with a situation with his wrist with a muscular, like the, where the wrist ends and goes. It's like, it's a, they call it carpal tunnel syndrome, but it's really not. It's like when he bends his wrist and goes up, there, there's the muscle in it that's very, very weak. He was born with something less of. So he has to go to a specialist for that. And your next question? From Carol. Hey, Carol. And uh, Ca Carol wants to know, and, and she's been quite uh, patient because she asked this question about a week ago on your public page. Uh, will Spud and I reconcile? Yes, I asked. I thought I answered that on a public page. Yes, but Stud has a lot of issues right now going on, 
you know, he needs to understand who you are and treat you like a woman and treat you like and respectfully. And a little bit more of his past has to come out. You maybe have to have the sit down. I'd say to many women on the show, have the sit down. And your next question. Uh, Amy J from Oklahoma. Hey, Amy. Uh, Kyrie, I have met a man through my business and it has been getting really personal. Is this something I need to worry about? Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, thank you. Uh, my father said that there's, 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 there's a question with that. You need to reevaluate it and go back to it again. Um, you need to like readjust some things, please aim, please. Um, if you need to email me and I'll explain more for it, it's, it's, it's actually very personal, but, um, yeah, absolutely. And any other questions there? And how, how do they reach you? They reach me by going to www. Three W's and a dot carries psychic cafe.com. And they can reach me there. Or they can email me right now at spellsandwishes at gmail.com. And uh, we okay. uh, did, you, did you announce in the chat room about our uh, special that we're running for Halloween? I will uh, put it in the chat room again. Okay. That's wonderful. The and chat what room are you gonna is do quite busy, so it scrolls up and down pretty fast. Yeah, I know. I have a hop in chat room. I'm totally, totally loving it. i just not totally loving the fact that we have no video today but i'll deal with it okay that's it for me i think suziana is calling in next all right did you have something to say to suziani i already did it i said her bills beat my dolphins and i'm not happy about it all right but that wasn't bowing down but whatever <laughs> when you could do it better maybe you could call in okay thank you uh, i'll tell her i'll make her dinner for christmas goodbye okay peace Bye. out all right okay i'm on Where's Suziani? I need her. Um, she's right here, but first take a deep breath. I am. And let's uh, let's try and go with video. And if it happens, if it breaks, then we'll. I'm we'll... good with this right now. I think this will work for me tonight. Okay. Um, I don't want to like mess with it. It kind of like there's a flow going right now. <laughs> Suziani. Yes, I'm here. There she is. Hey, Suze. How are you? Hi, Carrie. How you doing? <laughs> I'm awesome. How are you? I'm doing real good, too. Um, chat <laughs> is hopping. There's lots of people in chat, a lot of newcomers. Um, yeah. So I'm going to start I'm gonna start with Annette's question. Okay. Awesome. And, Thanks. Um, she, her mother and her grandmother passed several years ago, and she wants to know if there's any messages for her. Oh yeah, uh, my grandmother said that um, there's a there's a situation going on in the home and um, and health. So the home thing, it's a financial situation that she needs to attend to. Uh, it's basically more of less of um, what she's going to do and how she's going to handle um, a real estate thing. And the second one is the health thing is that we we. Thank you. Aaron said that there is a digestional system problem that you need to attend to ASAP. As far as the real estate thing, I'm talking about more or less a brokerage thing. Um, I don't want to say, I don't want to, because my grandmother is contradicting and saying that it's more of um, should she or should she not buy or sell or something of that nature. So I want to say real estate, they want to see mortgage. So we're going to clarify it that way. And the next one, Suziani? The next one is from Janet Ackerland, and she wants to know. Um, with the state of the economy, how her income will be in the future? Well, she's not from the state. She's from another state. So um, my grandmother said she kind of understands affiliates. My grandmother was from England. And she says, with the inflation that's going on over where she's in in Sweden, that it will get a little bit higher, it'll drop, and then it'll get a little bit higher again. So she needs to keep her high ups in it. And she actually needs to get to a doctor regarding her anxiety also. Hi, Janet. And the next one, Suziani. The next one is from um, Mickey Ann. And hey. she, she says, I'm going to read this to you, okay? Uh, she okay. says, please tell her that she has a false memory because she has a memory of being born with three people dressed in black, a bright <gasps> light, and she was the baby crying. One's okay. holding her. One of the people in black is holding her, and she's the baby crying. Uh-oh. Okay, so what does she want to know? She wants to know, is it a false memory? Yeah, or there's, I don't feel that with her. Real? I remember very well. No, no. I think there's just, 
I can think it could be just a, it could be a past life. Thank you. My grandma, no, no, it's not. It's a past life thing. It's no, let it go. Oh God, we have too much to work on, Mick. Please don't hit me with this one. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working very close with her. No, don't throw this one down at me. Please, no. I'm in Salem. Don't do the black thing. <laughs> black magic. No, no. Um, it's uh, we're all white and good. No, I think it's not. It's got. It's nothing bad. So let it go. If we can tell her in the chat room again, Carrie said, "Let it go." Okay. Um, I have one more for you. Um, and sure. it's from Eve, and Hi. she said her her grandson Cody passed away three years ago. Does oh. he know that his mom loves him, and does he have any anything to say to um, either the mom or to Eve, who's the grandmother? Oh. Uh, my 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 grandmother brings in baseball. I don't know if they wanted him to play baseball or he was. Ba they're, they're, he's very happy doing baseball, and that he's very, very he's okay. There's no pain, but he keeps on bringing up baseball, baseball, baseball. So if there is a monument or any type of honoring him or any type of thing, and whether he had gone to it or not gone to it, he brings up right away amount that my grandmother brings up baseball. So that you know, it's like something to symbolize him, something to adventure him, or something that could have been or wanted to be. But baseball comes up immediately. And how you doing, Susiana? You okay? You all good? I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, um, good. And um, and so Aunt Joan's got the next few questions. So I don't know if she's all on right. hold or if you got other callers waiting. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. I'll talk Thank to you later. You. Okay. All right. All right. Bye bye. Hey, again, you're, you're listening to Carrie Sega Cafe. Um, this is a live chat room, and uh, you can call in or chat in your questions. Our number is 323-792-3050. You could call in, or, you like, again, you could chat your uh, chat, because normally we are pretty much have a video, but today we have a little technical difficulty. Um, we're running our show specials. It's um, the 10 minutes. It's uh, 15 for 35, and how you get that is www.carriepsychiccafe.com. And you click on it, and uh, the keyword is Halloween. And, um, again, you can call any questions or you can chat it. And we have a chat room. And, um, Amnon, what's, uh, what's going on? Go ahead and talk. You're on the phones. Yeah, go ahead and talk with Jen. Is that Jen or Jim? Jen. Jen. Okay. Hey, Jen. Hey, hey Carrie. It's Jen from Chicago. Hey, Jen from um. Chicago. How are you? I just wanted to say hi. I just finished burning all my stuff, so kit one oh is my done. God. So I, you know. I know. You've been on my mind like crazy lately. Crazy. What's going on? You are such you have so much going on. Are you still at the hotel or are you back? I'm back and I probably had the best presentation I ever did. I I've knew gotten you so many compliments. No kidding. Yeah. You're like you're it's fabulous. Like, you're totally I'm in such fabulous. A good place. Yeah. How is the um, plane ride? I'm sorry, I say again? I can't hear you, so can you just repeat oh, that again, oh. my love? No, I just didn't hear the question that you, you asked me. You said, how is said, something, and I mentioned it. How, how did everything go? It went really well. I presented right. for two hours and did an amazing job. I, I knew you would. I knew you would. So your next adventures are going to be, um, what are you do, be doing next as far as for you? I have an event in uh california that i have to present at and that's the first week of november you're gonna do fine you're totally gonna you're yeah, totally gonna worry. you're totally you are where you're supposed to be you're so you are so alive right now i could feel your energy like all over the place you're bouncing like a ball i mean i knew this was gonna happen you're just this everybody's listening to somebody that's gonna be very famous one day like a tony robbins nobody has any idea who they're even talking to right now jen so Jen and I have been working together, and things have been going really, really good. And, um, you know, nothing's but the skies for you and everything. So, you know, now we just need, like, a love, right? <laughs> yep. Now we, and interesting, yeah. I heard via LinkedIn, granted it was just a guy that I knew back when I was, like, 26, just complimenting me on something I did. And we had kind of dated. His name was Tony. And I just wanted to know if you picked up anything, if that was just him being nice or he's I got, I got the chills. Got I got the chills. You, I just said, you just said that name and I got the chills. And my grandmother goes, bingo. Wow. Yeah, there's something there, girl. There's something there. But you know what? Um, I would just take your time. The career is the most important thing right now. And that's what we're working on, the goals to work on. You know, um, and okay. it, we're, we're going to start doing a session soon. So we'll be working on all that. But I would take that slowly because that gave me the chills. And when my grandmother says bingo, and that's not often, and she's English, I would say that it means something. 
thing. So just keep it in the back of your head. Don't let it go very far. You know what I'm saying? Because the career is the, is the most yeah. important right now. Yeah. Okay. And then I know your friend said something about the 14K last week. I'm meeting with the attorney. Basically, yeah. the attorney said... Um, yeah, we either, they're either going to force me to sell the house or give them 14k. Should I just tell him no and see if they come back at a lesser amount? Absolutely. Okay. Because I know definitely they are. They're just playing hardball. Thank you. My grandma Perfect. said absolutely. I, she, I she loves it. the death out of you. Um, but she's yeah. It, it'll come back at the offer that I said. We know we're okay on this one. You know we could play. We okay. we got we got little grounds to play yet, Jen. Let's play. Okay, let's do it. All right, I'm going to let you get back to the show, but thank you so much. All right, baby email. love. I'll t- I'll, 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 we have to start our sessions anyway. I'll be talking to you soon. I'll email you in the morning. Okay, honey. Bye. All right, bye. Again, um, uh, what, what who you just heard and what you just talked to is that off for psychic sessions and and with it comes with the whole um it's for um and it's it, it's on my website at www.carriepsychiccafe.com a lot of people are in the room and a lot of people all over the world they they take the psychic sessions because it's for them it helps with career it helps what um it helps with um as far as uh, what what where your distance is as far as your love is concerned, financial. It kind of covers all the grounds, and it's one little package deal. And I run that also on my website at www.carriepsychiccafe.com. And uh, you can do that. And Amnon, is there anybody waiting there on that there awesome phone Sue. you have? Hey, Sue. Hi. How are you? How can I help you today? Um, yeah, I had a question about if love was in my near future or finding my soulmate. Uh, love can be like this. Let me like generalize that. Love could be very much so always in your future, and soulmates are so far and few. And I don't always believe that there's only one soulmate. I believe that there's several in your life that people can disagree with it. But the first thing, thank you. My guardian said that the first thing that um, my uh, my dad said is that what we have to do is fix Sue. Fix Sue, meaning like we let somebody in and we don't like worry about what they are, what they do. Like kind of Susan are kind of in our own like set in our own ways. So. If we re- take Sue and turn around a little bit, we awesomely can get somebody into your life. There's just no, there, there's just a possibility. It is always possible to do so. But what they're talking about with Sue is that it, you need to just change a little bit about you and bring a wall down a little bit, and you'll be able to bring somebody in like right away. And there's also a friend involved in it that's going to hook you up with somebody. So you need to understand that too. But thank you so much for calling in tonight. Thank you. And thank you. How would you like to talk with... Hey, I'm not. Can I ask you a question? Yes, ma'am. How come you told me to breathe before? I don't sound like I'm breathing. How come I what? You asked me to breathe. Is that because... Because, um... because you, were, you were just <laughs> one after another, after another, after another, after I another. I know. I know, everybody. I'm trying so hard. But, you know, you don't have to do that. I just want to... Some of them just require some time, so that's cool. Yeah, but I know. You. I just want you to relax. Thank you. All right. How about talking with Aunt Joan? I would always love to talk to my aunt. I know. My Aunt Joan. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. How are you? Uh, okay. We're getting through You're this one. Up. See the troubles, but we, st- we still do it. No matter what, we still always come through. What could I do? What, what kind of questions do you have? How are you doing? Yeah, you tell- I, I, think, I think we're breaking. I'm doing good. Um, yeah. We keep breaking up. Okay, now we're okay. All right. right. There's a question from Leah E., and she says that her brother was rushed to the hospital today. Any immediate concerns? Aaron's a breathing deficiency. Aaron's had also also um, allergic reaction to something that um, they need to understand that he. And, oh, be very careful with penicillin. Thank you. Aaron said be very careful with penicillin. Um, nothing really, really urgent, but there's, those concerns are very much of Aaron's concern right now. And the next question, Aunt Joan? Okay, it's from Laura, and she said that um, Laura. she was diagnosed with um, terminal cancer. Yeah, she so has she cancer. She just wants right? to know, know. Where, she's, where she's at, at, you know, what state she's in and... Um, I, I just, I, this is sad for me, but I can't, but Aaron, Aaron can't let this go. Um, terminal cancer to us is fourth stage. Um, and we're, Aaron said you're at is the third stage and it's always, there's never, it's never over till it's over. And if you, uh, if you could agree with me and Joan, you know what I mean. 
Um, I think when yeah, somebody... that's what I was going to ask if she could say what stage she is in. Yes, but yeah. there's yeah. there's always hope and there is God. Never, well, never give up. Can ever. you tell why you say that, please? And why do you say that, Anna? Car- why do you say I'm that? Sorry, what why? did you say? Why do you say that? Because you're why am I saying lover. that because your father is is telling me this, right? And he, I thought I got the chills. Laura, please don't ever give up. And if if you're to take any kind of treatment, whether it be chemo or um, radiation, go with it. Go with it, and you're going to be fine. You're, you're going to be fine. Yeah. My brother's saying everything is going to be fine. Daddy said, Daddy said everything's fine. You're not going to go anywhere. You need to stop. Don't, no, I, I, no. It's like don't give up. So don't give up. You got, you got three people tag teaming you right now, girlfriend, and saying do not give up. My aunt, is, uh, my aunt also, she's so proud. My aunt also is a survivor. And uh, my dad died, but my aunt survived because this needed to be. So I'm just letting you know that it, it's, it's very proven that, that we know what we're talking about here. So just don't give up, please. And, and, the, uh, and the most important things, always have a positive attitude. Constantly. Always. Constantly. We deal with this yeah. every day. Please do not give up. Please, let, I would like her to, um, somebody in the chat room, could please let her keep in contact with us and whatever we can do to help. We will do. Okay. And the next question, Aunt Joan? Okay, this wow. is from Maria, Minnesota. She said, hi. Hi. Um, is what I was involved with my neighbor, Robert, and a problem happened in July. I have been trying to hold on. What should I do, let go or hold on? Well, my grandmother, both my father and my grandmother said, let it go. It's so over with. It's like so old. It's ready to just, it just let it go because so much new is about to happen. Um, and there's something about, I need you to, to reevaluate um, what you do every day, monthly, every day with your budget, because there's something going on financially with you. My, that daddy said it. There's something wrong with the situation at hand. You, 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 you need to reevaluate all your financial situation because there's something not right. You need. You're, you're losing money. You don't even know it. So you need to really, really evaluate it. And the next question, Aunt Joan, really do that. That's please. it. That's my three. I guess Tom's on oh, hold. Okay. I don't know. I'll find out. It's hard without video, though. I'll tell you, it's really weird to show. Yeah. But um, well, either Susie Annie or Tom is, is on hold. I'm not sure. Okay, I love you. Thank you. Okay, love you too, honey. Bye. All right, so that's how we do it here. It is um three two three seven nine two three zero five zero, and um, it's kerrypsychiccafe dot com, and it's Sunday. And it's Sunday wind down day. Uh, we will be taking only calls today, and you don't see this, but it's totally, totally okay. And um, we are just um, sh- just moving along here. And who's up on the phone next, day, Amnon? I'm relying next, on you all you night. you can go ahead and talk with Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Hello. Hey, what can uh, I help I'm you with Maryland. tonight? Well, I don't know. I've, uh, <laughs> it's like I've had a string of... I've had a string of bad luck ever since 2000, and it seems to have started when my brother died, my mother died. Oh, my God. uh, Within three months, almost to the day. Yeah. uh, Yeah, A lot of people in the world like that. After that, Mm -hmm. my, uh, my, my stepson was killed. Then I came down with congestive heart failure. Um, I lost my job. I'm in danger of losing my house. Um, it's just nothing is getting better, and I was wondering if there's just something hanging over my head. Yeah, absolutely. You need to you need to cleanse. You need where you live and what you're doing, um, and how you're going about it. You need to have a total cleansing done in order to have a reevaluation of your life. You need to kind of like um, get all the bad out and bring in the good. It's not bad, bad intentions, but there is like some. There's a lot of negativity when something like all that goes down. What I suggest to do is to basically um, smudge and, and and get your house clean, and you'll feel a lot a lot of clarity, and you'll get a lot of answers. Um, I would be glad to send you out what you need but i just need you to email me at um, www.carriepsychiccafe.com and i'll get you out what you need it doesn't cost anything and um let's try to get you on the right direction i want to help you out okay uh, yeah let me um write it down mm-hmm. yeah. www yeah it's three w's it's carriepsychiccafe.com 
Just look above the the picture there of the cup, and it's right there. All right. Okay, thank you. Let's go and talk with Margaret. Hey, Margaret. Carrie, how are you? Oh, I'm awesome. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Hey. Um, my question was, I, I've, I've always had spirits attracted to me since I'm a little girl, and lately I've just been bombarded, and I'm just wondering of who, the, who it is. Um, I have pretty much a good idea. I had, I'm the one that called you about um, last week. Um, with my friend that was burned, that that he was burned to death. Um, yeah, I, I did. I did email you. My staff did e- email oh, you did. about working the case. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. You must have gone to spam. I'm gonna have to check that. Yeah, check your um, spam. Yeah, I just feel like he's like when he was here with me, he was always like unsettled and unsettled and unsettled. So that's what I totally pick up on. Right. And it's like he's wanting me to do something, and I don't know what. To, I, I really don't know what he wants me to do. Um, I, I don't know. I'm trying to. And then I had my that. Kathy. She just passed away from cancer, so it's like I don't know if it's both of them, if it's him, or I don't know if you have any idea. But it's just like they're bugging the heck out of me, like, and I don't know what to do. <laughs> well, there's nothing. What well, more we can do with him? Well, let's just solve this right now. The more we can do with him is it has to be investigated and we have to get police involved, which takes a case to order. Right. Um, the secondly is that in order to get stop being bombarded with how I live my life and how I live existence and how what goes around me every day from what I do, is it's, it's just cleansing. It's just basically, right. you know, you have to burn the candles, you have to do the smudge, you have to clear your house out because anything yeah, negative I- that... I do that all the time, and I think one of the problems that I did have was I was collecting porcelain dolls, and I had about, God, over 100 of them. And when I tell you, I know it sounds wacky, but my EMS and everything and everything was going off on these dolls like freaking crazy on some of these dolls that had stuff attached to them. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I had that happen to me once and freaked the like, hell out of me. I was, sta- okay, I was staying in North Carolina in a home um, that a woman was kind enough to let me rent, and there was a doll left behind. I literally had to get a demonologist that dealt just with dolls to come and yeah. get rid of the doll. Yeah, I had to have that happen. I did that. Yeah, had to have I couldn't the, whole house the doll. Class, the doll would literally. To, yeah, I would it, get home on a gig. Sick. I would do a gallery, come back, and a doll would be downstairs sitting in the hallway waiting for me. Yeah. It was that freaky. Yeah. And I, I talk, talk, talk yeah, about, I mean, nothing much spooks me. You can ask whatever you're going to say. Me. I really much do it all, but that flipped me out. That flipped me yeah, out. And it was that, North Carolina I mean, I and Wake really Forest, and I'll never forget dolls. it. And so I started getting into about maybe four or five months ago, I wouldn't say. And this one doll in particular had had four other homes. And I'm like, okay, I can cleanse her. I can get her clean. No. I came oh, down no. with bronchitis all winter, and I had pneumonia. I started having seizures. My oh, seizures my stopped, and my dog started having them, and my dog died. Oh, my God. It was God. that crazy. She would answer me. I'm a, I mean, I did paranormal investigation. I'm just getting it out there anyway. You probably know that. But oh, I God. had all my equipment. And this doll was giving me readings, like, more than the Myrtle Plantation, which I'm going back to a 30th. Oh, my God. Uh, I know. I mean, I'm telling you. I I've done it. Her. Listen, I, I don't I do sent dolls. her. This, this doll scared yeah, the hell out of me. Never. I don't know how you do it. You're good yeah. at what you do. Does any, everybody know who you are? Can you say your name and, what, and, and, and everything? I don't think anybody really. I, I want everybody to know who, Mar- who they're talking to. Yeah, it's Margaret Roberts, and I'm from New Orleans, and right now I work with New Orleans Paranormal Investigating, but then I have my own, which is Southern Pride Investigating, that I do, like, outside the different states. But, um, yeah, that's, you know, we do, like, items, different items, walkthroughs of houses, all the plantations here. It's just like, and since I'm a kid, I've been able, I mean, when people say that they see apparitions all the time, I'm kind of like, kind of, yeah. I don't really, it's very hard to see an apparition to me. Yes. Um, yeah. But the sound, smell, and, and everything, just the feeling, the choking sensation that I get, is wow. it's just since it's a child. I've had it. My grandfather had it. Yep. Um, you know, 
in my in my dreams, I've literally had dreams and woken up. I had one dream, for instance, that my dog was something was wrong with design. I was telling my ex husband, "Look, something Bo's going to wake up, and something's going to be wrong with his eye." And my basset hand woke up. Later on that day, he ended up with cherry eye, which is actually like he needs to have yeah. surgery. It was the same <laughs> yeah, I know eye. what that is. My beagle, um, my eye. I know what that is. But yeah, but it's it's weird how things come in dreams to me too. So yeah, but well, I, hey, I was wondering with the whole. I'm so I'm sorry I didn't get your email, but I don't want to take up your whole show, but because I'll talk forever. So, but um, yeah, but you're, in, yeah, but you're really but, yeah. interesting. <laughs> And and I, I just like so really with the whole doll thing because I literally I don't say this often. It's I guess I'm, I'm, a I'm, joke. It's not it's, my. I mean, no, me. I so can serious, feel it myself. It's so serious. But then when that. I put my equipment up. I'm like, you, and I, I, you know, use the yes and no questions with the with the blinking lights with the you know with the, my K2 and everything. And, and she would answer, yes, I made you sick. Yes, I killed your dog. And she oh would. She God. was not joking. No, and then I've no. The I had a doll experience I'll never used. forget in my life. That's why I can't go into those doll shops. I can't ever, I can't I look at those dolls. I, I went and saw the Conjuring. I went and saw the Conjuring. And if you saw, if you saw the Conjuring, everybody, been, you would know that a doll is in the Conjuring. And um, it's right. not all about what I mean, what I bought, this is before I even saw the Conjuring. This is kind of freaky. I have the, well, Lorraine Warren has the actual one, which is a Raggedy Ann doll. In the movie, they use, like, a German doll, German or yeah. French, probably. Oh, yeah. A, yeah, a Halbrig doll, probably. And, I mean, I know my dolls. So when I went and I found out, and, and I just got my Raggedy Ann doll in, and I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, no. If she's staying in the box, I'm not even dealing with this one. Oh, because I, you don't know where they come I from. Saw, it's like I a Ouija t- board. I, I, I try to tell I, people. I, I, that's just so what's the happened to me. But uh, thank you so much it for calling in. I appreciate it. And yeah. uh, everybody, Thanks. everybody, I'm check again. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you later. Give me an email or call me. Talk to Suziani. Hi, Suziani. Hi. Okay. Now, <laughs> first of all, I had a question from Curly's sister. Uh-oh, um, Anna? She wants First, she wants to let her mom know that she went to the doctor, and her thyroid's okay, and she wants to know if anybody wants to talk to her. Hi, Anna. Your thyroid is not okay. It's the goiter. It's not the thyroid. It's the goiter, Mom said. Um, I think there's a special test that you have to get in order to take it. It's an LC something test. I think Aaron said that. Um, and uh, that's all she really wants to say to her right now. But it's not, I mean, there's a whole CBC test that need to be done. Thank you. That whole CBC test that need to be done. It's behind the goiter. I think we talked about it. And um, that's about it. And your next question, Suziani? Okay, the next one is a, um, it's actually a validation for you from Corinne yeah. Champagne. Thank you. Um, and Corinne wants to say thank you for the amazing positive reading you gave her. Her grandmother, uh-huh. who just turned 100 years old, while taking care of her for the last eight years in her home. She wrote and published an ebook called That Moment, which is a short nonfiction story that remind us we are guided into situations by a higher power, although we may not realize it until that moment. But at that moment, it is our decision what. So um, that's just a, a validation for you. And, oh, thank you. Um, and also, there's been other one. Everybody is of, in chat is saying, you know, how fabulous you are, and thanking you. Everybody Aww, wants to thank, thank you. Thank you, thank you, everybody. I'm sorry that I don't get to see my chat. I wish I did, but the guardians, there's I have four of them, and it's really hard to read and do this what I do, um, and everything. So I do, I do thank you for the validations. Uh, I do I appreciate everybody listening tonight, and everybody getting in and taking in and hearing all that. And if everybody is just listening. I need you to understand if you go into my chat, Susanna, you will agree. Isn't my chat awesome? I mean, oh, it's awesome. Cha- you have to be in chat. You miss a lot by not being in chat. I, I try to tell, I beg people, go into the chat room, sign into the show and go into the chat room because there's nothing like chat. I mean, my own cousin Kim, if she would learn how to do it, would get from chat. Because I mean, people are ask, hearing the questions and then I, they're hearing your answers, but then they're not seeing how the people whose questions you answered are responding and reacting, you know, with how spot on you are or, you know, thanking you 
or saying how, how you're the best. I mean, people are not seeing the validations that show up in the chat room. That's what, well, that's what you I know, wanted to put out, hearing, especially tonight. It's so important that if you're just going to you know, listen or watch, you need to go and chat to get the validations in order to – that's what will convince you in order to book a reading. Right, it, it, right exactly, because people just listening don't realize that the Guardians and you are you. spot on. And so much. Um, they yeah. need they they really need to be in chat to appreciate um, um, that you're the real deal. Thank okay, you so that much. it's not just a show of people calling in questions no. and you just you no. know pulling answers out of the air, which is not what's going on. And no. chat is where it's happening. Right, and that uh, all those people that are in my chat have almost ha ha almost all of them have been with us almost a year. Right, and many have had private readings, and right. they're also validating that, okay? Right. And so everybody really who is listening, number mm -hmm. one, go to chat. It's a whole different um, added element to the show, and it's important. And also, book a reading. Thank you so much. Yeah. Book a reading because and it I changes would. your life. It changes your life. I'm telling you, it's just life changing. I'm doing it. I, I do it. You know, I'm having a great time in Salem. But even with them being in Salem, I mean, I'm having private readings even in Salem on phone, on Skype. I mean, it's just you know, you can book a reading. I mean, I do the show specials for those who cannot afford a really you know, long reading, or I do the show specials just to get you to, in order to do so, or just I give it. I everybody doesn't know in the world that I pay for the show to be done so that everybody can get some question answered. Because who am I to keep that away? from you my four guardians and i do this live every week and, and we yes and you have a gift and you're sharing it and that's what needs to be appreciated by those that are listening you don't have to do yeah. this you're doing this so that you can help people Everyone. and you do help people every week and 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 not just on air but in the readings and right. what you're doing now in salem and right. it's not just about spreading the word it's about no. you you helping people and this is from your heart, and, the, and, and, and people have to understand, okay? I, I mean, I could, I, look, I give you credit beyond, I mean, applause, you. the whole thing. How you do this day in and day out after a long day and then doing the show and constant re <laughs> I'm, I'm, awesome. you must I'm, re I'm ready to drop on the keyboard right now. I'm going to be honest with everybody, but I'm on my, I have to be on my feet constantly because um, I have to help as many people in the world as I can. Uh, and, you know, this is just not the beginning. There's also um, talk of me going on air radio, uh, psychic radio also next. So um, there's things coming in left and right, but the carry can only do so much. So, you know, but I will tell yeah. you, I will stay, you know, I do it every week, no matter if it's radio or how we had to do it today, because the message has to get out there. Whoever many people that call in or contact us, as many people as we need to help. So like my producer tells me, it doesn't matter how many people your numbers are. It's that you help those people tonight. And you took your time, and you gave them what they needed because they couldn't do it any other way. So that's what we do here. <laughs> and he's being very funny tonight, stinker face. But, um, you know, because my, my, my producer knows what's going on. But uh, thank you so much, Suziani. Okay, there, wait, one more. Larry the yeah. Brave just came in, and uh, he has a quick question. Okay. All right, he wants to know what Wednesday night will be like for him. Wednesday night's a new night. Thank you. My uh, my grandmother said that Wednesday night would be a promising night. Wednesday night is going to be better than the better than what he knows of. So he needs to really. It's it's kind of like I'm feel, the, my grandmother said it's the same, but it's different. So I don't know if it's in a new location or it's a location that he's going to another location. But there's something up and it's something different, and he needs to keep it going. I mean, he this guy. If anybody has never seen Larry Brave, Larry Brave's in a room. You need to tell Larry. You need to tell everybody in the room what you do. He stands on people, does Rubik's cube, do alphabet. He's but you could book him for parties. You could book him for events. I, we've had him on numerous things. If he could come to Salem, he could be in the mall that I'm at. But you know, it takes a while to get to Salem. So okay, um, Larry but, says he knows what you mean. He knows what you thank mean. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. okay. And can I ask thank one more question for Joe, sure. who Tom, when he first called in. I think it's yeah. the same Joe, though, um, that asked about his wrist. But he really, really wants to know if there's a relationship in his future, and if so, who, when, and where are we going to meet, or has he already met the person? Um, oh, my grandma said he's already met the person. And somebody that he knows of. And somebody, somebody that he's close with. And the balance of the relationship is a friendship first. 
and then into a relationship. But it's a, it's a known of. When she says known of, it's something that's in his past um, that's come up and it's, it could come up again. But I believe, thank you. She said it's somebody that he knows of. And he so desperately needs somebody in his life. This man is really, really lonely. So anybody out there that's in the chat or has got the same lonely issue and he wants to know Joe, why don't you hook up with Joe in the room and see what's going on there. But uh, Joe, um, it's from the past. Um, we can only bring something into the future uh, that we can throw it out there into the universe and, and pray that you have love in your life and, and light in your life. And that's what we do for everybody every week and everybody. So thank you for calling in, Susiani. I, I appreciate it. I'm going to close down the show in a couple minutes. Okay. Because I'm, all right. And that's thank it. You so much. We got every question in chat was answered, so we did All very right. well I'm going to close it down. All right. Thank you so much. Love Fabulous you so much. show. Fabulous show tonight, Carrie. It really was oh, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much. And again, um, everybody who's been listening to Carrie's Higgy Cafe, um, and um, what we do here is we give um, it's a live show. It's every Sunday, eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. <clears throat> There's all my other shows here on Eastern Communications. Out- the broadcasting that you could do. Um, Health In is Deborah Book tomorrow, 11, and Breaking Free, awesome, Marilyn Channing, um, on Tuesday from um, 1 to 2. And then uh, there's so many other shows. There's Julie's show and, and Amnon, who, who is on every Sunday from 9 to 12. But those, those awesome free buddies that talk about um, all kinds of computer stuff and Jules. Hey, Carrie. Um, all right? So have, basically, uh, Carrie, after, yeah. I have a question. What's the question? Um, the the question that that Larry was asking, how is Wednesday night gonna be for him? Yeah. Did you ever get a question like that and has to and had to tell somebody, don't do it, don't even go, it's gonna be a failure. I I I have. Well, how do I you don't... feel when you are getting that type of uh, thing coming coming on? You know. Stop! I... Stop! It's too late. Too late, Greco. Larry the Brave, uh, it's hard for, I've, I've had a couple of readings um, that I've done live here that I've had to say some things that are not of comforting, you mean comforting, right. that where I had to be put a point and downright, you know, like it's going to be, or it's not going to be right, this is how you're going to do, and I didn't know, Larry, uh, Larry, fortunately it will be okay for him, but some people I have to really let down, it, and you just have to be gingerly and lovingly and say it in the kindest, most, you know, nicest way, we don't deal with the dead, like I don't tell you what we're going to die, I'm not God, I don't pretend to be, and I don't tell you when you're going to die, but Larry the Brave, um, you know, comes up with you, because, but sometimes when we have to say things that aren't that great, I try my hardest in the most humane way and the most, and the guardians is the kindest way. Cause that's what I'm here to be sent for in order to be nice and, and kind and loving. But sometimes things are really rotten and I have to make them nice. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, I was just wondering how, <laughs> how it's, you know, you have to handle in the most night, not like you sometimes like, you know, okay. <laughs> All right. But, I want, I want Ann Joan to tell me what is, what are the last four digits of her phone number? Because there are two here. And well, I don't know which one to pick up. Well, and I'm Joan. Closing this. No, I'm closing. They are both 201. I want. All right, but I think that we're good tonight, and it's nine fifty. It's eight fifty eight, and I'm I'm really gonna. Do you want to talk? Do you want to talk to Anne Joan? Yeah, I'll talk to Anne Joan. Okay. Go ahead. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Aunt Joan. You're the Hello. last question. Hi, Carrie. I'm <laughs> sorry, but you know, so, I I need to say something. I hope I'm not out of uh, line. There's uh-uh. a person in the room called Hippie Love. Right. And this person needs to contact you. Your Why? father has a message for this person. Okay, so everybody and needs to listen up. Go ahead. All right, so just tell this person, hippie love, where, they where they should contact you because your father definitely has a message for this person, and you know your dad was a hippie. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, you can right, contact me. Came right to me. Your father head. was right there. Okay, it's, uh, thank you so, so much. I hope hippie, love you. hippie love is listening. Okay, have hippie love. Please give us a call at, um, at um, an email at www.carriepsychiccafe.com. Um, my aunt will and I will come together and we will find out what the answers are for your question. And please contest uh, ASAP. You can contact us by email. I want to thank everybody tonight for uh, tuning in to Carrie Psychic Cafe. And um, I want to say again next week. Hopefully we'll be able to be, be able to see this and not just hear this. And um, I want to say that, you know, if you tell just one person about this show, we can change the world. So I just tell one person it has worked. It has worked for a year. We're here. We're not going anywhere. We're not. We're, we're out. We're going even larger. So please give us a give us a chance next week and tell somebody. And uh, we'll be here back again on Sunday, 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time live. 
And um, with, I want to thank you. I want to God bless. And thank you so much for tuning in tonight. And everybody, we love you. You are tuned to the Nissan Communications Network. Our weekly lineup of call-in programs includes Computers 2K Now with Amnon Nissan, Sundays, 9 a.m. till noon. Carrie's Psychic Cafe with Carrie Silkowski, Sundays, 8 till 9 p.m. Health In with Debbie Brooke, Mondays, 11 a.m. till noon. Breaking Free with Marilyn Shannon, Mondays, 1 till 2 p.m. Lessons of Vietnam with NCVVI members, the second and fourth Wednesday of each month from 7.30 till 8.30 p.m. Reawaken Your Brilliance, Julie Seibert, Wednesdays, 9 till 10 p.m. And if you tuned in too late, you can always watch each program in its entirety or download an MP3 audio file of it at www.nissancommunications.com. Sponsored by thatvidblasterguy.com, carolinaapparel.com, and deltaforce.net.